disturbing arrest in Brandon. A child care worker is now facing multiple counts of sending and receiving multiple counts of child pornography. Parents at two daycare centers, one in Brandon, the other in Riverview, are concerned about this. Jeff Patterson joining us live in Brandon tonight. Jeff, what are parents saying? Yeah, good evening, Keith. Well, we talked to one parent who came here to this child care center immediately to pick up her two-year-old daughter as soon as she heard the news. Other parents here want to know, did Justin Cross have any contact with their child? It's a place parents depend on to be safe so they can leave their children and go to work. Now, at two Hillsborough County daycares, that trust has been violated. Obviously, as a parent, it's very discouraging. Jessica Dodson came to Child Care of Brandon to pick up her two-year-old daughter. As soon as she heard, one of the employees here is under arrest for sending and receiving child pornography. I really don't know what to think, so my first instinct was I want to go get my child because I know she's safe with me. This morning, the FDLE arrested 25-year-old Justin Cross, charging him with multiple counts of sending and receiving child porn. I didn't know anything about it until the police woke me up this morning. At Cross's Riverview home, a man who identified himself as the boyfriend of Cross's mother told me Cross is a loner. He kept to himself. And that's pretty much it. He stayed in his room all the time. He didn't drive. He didn't go anywhere. He didn't have friends over. Now he believes the arrest will change Justin Cross's life. I don't know what to think. I mean, what am I going to do now? He just ruined his whole life. At child care of Brandon, Jessica Dodson is worried Cross may have taken photos of her child. Dodson is contacting the state attorney. Since they were displayed in public uh, chat rooms just to see if my child was victimized at all in any way. Yeah, the FDLE told us today absolutely they want any parent who is concerned that Justin Cross may have had contact with their child to contact them immediately. They believe there might be victims here. Well, Jeff, what are the daycares saying about this? The daycares have sent home notes with the parents. That is, this and La Petite Academy in Riverview have both sent notes home with the parents. Uh, and they are advising the parents that they do have cameras inside here at this Brandon Child Care Center that monitor staff at all times when they're interacting with the children. Jeff Patterson, live in Brandon. Thank you.